when we look at our society, we look at those people around us. There are certain things that we collectively do that become a norm. We look into history. These historical events, these achievements, they define us. They define our culture. And that's what I want to talk about, is how a certain culture is affecting us. What is our culture? The culture of our household, the culture within our family, the culture within our city that we live in. And then when we look at Sikhi, there is a certain culture associated, a culture that's created by the events of Sikhs, by the Sheed Singhs and Singhya, by Guru Sahibs. And then we, when we look across the world, there's Caribbean cultures, American cultures, Western cultures, British cultures. And all of these, they play a role and they affect us in different ways. So somebody is in England, they are affected by British culture and they're affected by a Sikh culture, by the culture of their family. Somebody that's living in Canada, they're affected by Canadian culture and then the culture that of their household, such as myself and those people around me. From the root, we associate with Sikhi culture. We have traits of Punjabi culture because my parents are from Punjab and we speak Punjabi at home. And then we live in Canada, going to school, we're affected by that culture as well. So there are positives and negatives in all cultures and all societies across the world. But when we look at what culture is and the definition of it, it's defined as the customs, arts and social institutions and achievements of a particular nation, people or social group. So things that have happened in history that define you and some things that what I would also uh, add on to it is certain customs or habits that have become a norm around your society. And when that becomes a norm, we call that a certain type of culture in that area. There, when we look at Punjabi culture, let's first look at the beautiful and amazing things in Punjabi culture. The land of five rivers. The area that great kings and emperors fought wars over. That place where Guru Sahibs themselves came and they spread the message of Akalpurk. That beautiful area. But what I'm speaking about today is, has nothing to do with the regional land. This is about habits. These are customs. These are things that influence those people around us. So first thing is the beautiful things in history that we have received through this beautiful Punjabi culture. Then let's talk about losing the great qualities and how we've lost so many great qualities and how we've normalized very negative behaviors. That's not that's everywhere across the world. And then let's compare that to the beautiful culture that's created by Sikhi because Sometimes we think Punjabi is just a culture and then Sikhi is just a taram or a religion. But Sikhi, Pyaryo, it has its own society, it has its way of life, it has its working. It, it is a culture within itself. It is a tradition within itself. And these qualities can help make any society in the world better. Punjabi culture, British culture, American culture, wherever you are in the world, these qualities are what we want to instill. But sometimes when we associate with a certain culture and make it normal, that is detrimental. It's super bad. It's very, it has a very negative effect towards our children, towards our family members, towards the outlook of people around you. So let's first talk about the great qualities that things that you find in Punjabi culture, which you cannot find in the West. And if you're uh, somebody that is from a Western culture background and you're watching this video, I'm sure if you go to any Punjabi hall household that's traditional in their, in their values, their beautiful values, you'll experience this no matter what faith they are. And some of these things are how you get treated when you go to somebody's house. That's something that I find remarkable. You go to anybody's house, you cannot leave the house without eating anything. They're going to stuff you down with food. That's beautiful. And 
when you leave when relatives leave the house everyone gathers outside they walk you out they walk your car all the way out out of the village and that those traditions carried on when people moved into other other countries as well relatives walk you to the door they walk you outside sometimes they stand bare feet all of these things the type of warmth the type of love that they give um treating everyone as your own family you don't differentiate with anybody that comes into your house you treat them with such respect you treat them with such priority and you serve them the other things are when gifting things to somebody like it's a great it's a great thing to be uh, grateful for punjabis don't hold back when they're giving food when they're giving you money they say son take this oh niece take this just more and more there's actually a story my fr- a friend of mine shared with me and he said that there was a lady a gori she traveled to punjab in the year 1984 and now we know what's what happened in india in 1990s and the and the attacks and because of the circumstances during that time she had difficulty finding food because she had to stay in certain areas but then when she was staying with a few punjabi families they started giving her a lot of food excessive food and she would eat and eat and she would say wow these people are so generous only later did she find out that those families were giving her more food than they actually had so they ha- they were giving they were eating less and giving her more that's remarkable look at that beautiful thing to give more and have less yourself and when she experienced this the loving nature the amount that they give and she took all of these qualities and she said i, I was wonderstruck when you, and she said that if in if i was in america or if i was in canada uh and when if i was walking down the street i went to somebody's house like it would ha- either have to be you have to be planned called for lunch or dinner or else you can't really expect food and so these qualities are are beautiful there there's there's also the amount of respect that you give elders that's something that is so remarkable where you go and touch the feet or the the knees of an elder person of your parents or any your elder brother or your uncles and aunts the amount of respect where you always use the word ji with them you say aunty ji you say cha cha ji these types of words sometimes when we try to become more and more westernized or influence of hollywood or some some sort of media trend then we tend to lose a lot of these things but that beautiful word ji of so much respect you can literally add that to anything you can add it to computer ji you can say it to like house ji like you can say it to anything or you can look at anything and regard it with respect so that's a beautiful a beautiful uh, aspect and then when i look at punjabis sachi gal hai punjabi ho hai thoda thodi ek badi vaddi gal hai that the seva bhavna that you have it's such a great thing for you to have this which i find is not here in western born six even or western born punjabis is the seva bhavna seva bhavna is is huge you tell any of the punjabi gur six you tell any of them that we need to go wash the dishes they'll say hanji paji yes yes brother we'll do it right now in this very moment we'll do it but sometimes so when we i'm not gener- i'm just generalizing i'm not saying everyone does this i don't want you to get mad over it is when you tell western born kids to go and clean the dishes or pick up a whole bunch of weight and we have to do it right now in this very instant they'll they'll say let's plan they'll open their spreadsheets and they'll have whatsapp groups and they'll discuss and they'll just discuss and talk and talk and get nothing done whereas the the that is that culture of seva of not of when you think of seva automatically you know you're not thinking about yourself but chak de ne forte you're just going to go and rip it you're going to do as much seva and not think about yourself and that bhavana and that intention that sharda is absolutely remarkable absolutely beautiful along with these things there are so many great qualities which i can't list at right now and that's why i implore you to follow these beautiful qualities that are ingrained in these certain cultural customs 
in in that eastern in in the eastern world they you know they're in the hindu hindu cultures as well they're in the pakistani the punjabi you know they're even the south indian cultures these a lot of these qualities are beautiful i'm not saying the west has no beautiful qualities it does as well but now what i want to focus on is when despite having all of these beautiful qualities we forget them inne vadiya gun hon de bawajood vi apan inna nu pula dinne ha we forget all of them and instead we go towards negative virtues so that's what i want to touch on now i've listed all the beautiful things you cannot say i'm against punjabis the beautiful things are there they're amazing but here's some things that have become a norm in the last decade or so that are absolutely detrimental to this culture that have absolutely destroyed the culture that there's absolutely no meaning left and a lot of people don't even want to be associated with the word punjabi culture these are things that are attributed with it and this is why i'm saying we need to remove these things and and acknowledge these things so first of all the one of the biggest problems happens obviously when you forget the good things and you adopt these negative things which the influence comes from media media ha- is in punjab punjabi media is so negative these days there's so much vice all the beautiful qualities that are actually being thrown away and instead to sell to become more popular everybody is has normalized these certain uh, traits or these words or these uh the 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 type of culture that's expressed in these songs so there is the the aspect of swearing it has become so normalized the way you speak that's how you represent yourself that's who you are to somebody else swearing has become so normal every 6 year old kid everyone finds it funny when the 6 year old kid is swearing about mama and pehna or swearing about mothers and sisters and then you know i went to school here in canada and there was punjabi uh boys everyone knows those punjabi boys in in the high schools and those punjabi boys they're not say, they're not classified as what we call amritari sikh or anything and they're born and raised in canada yet that negative influence of punjabi culture is still upon them where they would stand up in the middle of the class and just swear non-stop in punjabi and has become such a norm in, in movies and households that even in front of in front of your own family like the father will just swear on the phone just when he's just agitated or he's angry he just swears and this has is normalized and along with this i'm not going to go into the depth of each of them but drinking as well now drinking jit peete mat dur hoye that thing that removes your ability to think you're not aware you're not conscious of yourself of you're not you can't be aware of your own actions and you're drinking that and then that's causing families to split that's causing kids to watch their parents and say that well my parents are drinking then I want to drink as well i'm i'm no drinking is everywhere across the world but what i'm saying is this is a huge negative aspect in the punjabi culture you go to any reception you go to any party you know you go to any family event you know sharab you know you, you we, there's that joke of drunk uncles the drunk unks and they're they're going to basically do beasti they're going to shame your entire family back in the day when we look at it in one village in punjab there would be like one sharabi there would be one person who's an alcoholic and they would always despise bringing that person to the weddings because he's going to basically be like a black mark upon the entire family when he gets drunk at the uh family wedding so a lot of these things that were considered very very shameful are now a normal eyes thing in the media and the conversations and especially in the impressions that are given towards other cultures you i've asked a lot of gore friends a lot i asked a lot of i shouldn't say gore but i've asked a lot of uh western or caucasian uh people and i asked them what do you perceive as punjabi and the first thing that they think oh that's beautiful they drink a lot sharab bo pin there and then they then they like dance like crazy so 
that's the impression that's given and in England it's a huge issue that Punjabis own the most off licenses it's like the your alcohol license to open a liquor store that's the impression that the first thing that somebody thinks that's absolutely negative and that's why it's destroying a, the, a certain culture within like a, a generations it's destroying in Punjab and then when we look at along with that there is the race for materialism it's hard to express that Gurbani again and again is saying be simple, detached from worldly desires. Yet it's just ingrained in the culture now that everybody has to compare themselves to the next person. I have to have the bigger koti, the bigger house. My car has to be bigger. My son driving a small car. No, 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 that's that's shameful for me. So it's all about comparison. You're in this random, in this crazy rat race. And I know that influence might be coming from a capitalistic uh, influence from maybe from more developed countries like the US where you're trying to become free and you're trying to become the best. But then when you when you mix that with the home or the ego and the ankar of somebody and then living uh, in a society where you're already comparing yourselves in different ways and now you're you're Live, uh, you're going after the rat race. What this race for materialism, you lo look at anybody, uh, there's a constant race between the newest suit. Like in, in Punjab, it's like the, every week, there's every two days, there has to be new suits coming out into the, into the market. Uh, there's the new motorcycles, the new cars, the new trend of how, how to dress your hair, they're, they're all the new, new phones. Everybody wants to impress. It's not about living within your means. You're living outside your, your means. You're going into karja, you're going into debt just to lok pachara kare din raat, just to impress the world. This is absolutely, and it's, I'm not, I'm not, this is everywhere in the world, but it's become so a part of the Punjabi culture. It's a part of every household. Very rare is it that you'll find that very detached, you know, family. Either you'll have one, uh, one detached person, but the rest of the family is all indulged in Maya, all indulged in these worldly desires, and it's very difficult to explain detachment to them. The, the, the response will be, oh, you need to understand how the world works. Trust me, we, as Guru Sikhs, we understand how the world works. We're just not indulged in the, or, or we haven't normalized the indulgence of the materialistic desires. So along with that, this, this, leads into this whole system of racism which is so subtle it's not the same type of american racism where blacks against whites it's not that type of racism or somebody's uh, hating someone because you know the color uh, skin color it is sometimes there where in india or punjabis the darker you are you they're looked down upon or they're frowned upon gursikhi is saying you want to see god's light within everybody you want to see Pramatma's light, forget the physical, but then sometimes, especially when we label people based on their skin color, and then we grow this ego or this racism because of caste, this jat puna, or this jat vad, whatever you want to call it, that everybody thinks, oh, the jat is the best, jat, jat, jat. That's all you hear. You say Punjabi, I'm a jat, jat, Punjabi, jat, jat, jat. And to be honest, it's nothing to be proud of. It's absolutely nothing to be proud of. If you call yourself a Jat, you cannot call yourself a Sikh. Jat and Sikh, they don't, they don't go simultaneously. Either you can be classified as a Sikh, which there's complete destruction of the caste system, or you can classify yourself as a Jat. So if you're a Jat wearing a Khanda necklace, I'm afraid you're a hypocrite. I'm afraid you're, you have absolutely no meaning of either. So therefore, when we look at this subtlety, like in most of the six, it's become this constant like thing in their mind where Jat is, is a priority. But I want to remind you, Guru Gobind Singh Ji was not Jat. They were from the Sordi Kul. Guru Nanak Dev Ji was not Jat. They were from the Bedi Kul. Those people that you want to take to, they're not Jat. Then when we look at this racism where we constantly put people down and say you're a bayya 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 or bayya rani these people that have traveled from bihar 
maybe from other parts of India, maybe poorer places, then they travel to Punjab, this beautiful land, and they try to make a better earning for their family. That's exactly what Punjabis are doing when they're trying to come to Canada and UK and Australia anyways. But when they, when the, these Bihari people might come to Punjab, guess what, you call them Bayya. But I want to remind you, Guru Gobind Singh Ji was born in Patanath, which is in Bihar as well. The people that you discriminate, Guru Gobind Singh Ji was born in that area as well. So that's why sometimes learn your history, learn what you're actually saying. When this becomes normalized, like I know a lot of Gursikhs that don't actually intend it, but I'm saying that the culture has normalized it so much that automatically you just say, hi, but yeah, but you know, like you sometimes don't even think that that person is an equivalent human being as you and your family. So along with this, the, there's a lot of impressing relatives. You have this, there's this fundamental ego amongst all of society. Whereas before is like, no matter who it is, we love them, we cherish them. And now because of these songs, these singers are like, I call them anti parjaraks These singers that are singing about alcohol, they're object objectifying women's bodies. They're saying, oh, that girl's hips are like this, his skin, her skin is like this. And then when that comparison is not, is being felt, or they're, they're, they're young girls are comparing those qualities, hearing these songs, where their brothers and their fathers and their cousins, they're all dancing to these songs at wedding receptions. They're hearing these songs and they're comparing themselves, those to themselves. Well, I'm not that, like, my skin's not that light. My hips don't dance like that. Uh, so, you know, so they're going into these states of depression and the, through this comparison. And then alongside that, impressing relatives is, I don't care how stressed out or, you know, how difficult my, my life will become or how, uh, how much I push other people down. My relatives have to think highly of me. All of these this entire thing is destroying and is absolutely destroying families. And along with that, because of impressing, you want more that to get this greed, you people end up doing pop. There's this whole culture of what we call fukra porna or gunda gardi. Songs are portraying it. Songs are saying, Main jatte, I'm, I'll, I'm a jat, I'll, I'll pick up my bandook and I'll shoot you. Don't mess, ever mess with the jat. That's absolutely horrible. I don't understand how somebody can listen to that. And how, first of all, Jalo, some people might be willing to listen to it. Some people might even promote it. But how has that turned into a normalized thing that's played at every person's wedding? That every seven-year-old child is listening to this in their household. It's part of their every YouTube video. And for any singer in Punjab that wants to get popular, guess what? This is what you sing about. Because nobody wants to sing about great qualities. That was a thing of the past. Nowadays, nobody does that. So that's why I'm saying I acknowledge these things and work past them. And then Gunda Gardi of I'll put you down, I'll fight you. Uh, and that's that's kind of the image that you get of, of like Punjabis is they're, they're very short tempered. They're very egotistical. They drink a lot of alcohol, right? And and they they dr they drive big cars and they have these big weddings. On that note, big weddings, impressing relatives, with dowry. We might think that oh the dodge system is completely vanquished because Guru Amar Das Ji, Sachi Pacha, Guru Sahib, they destroyed it. But this is is still there, where you know already the 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 girl's family is being put down by the boy's family and they're being oppressed and they're saying they and now they have to provide more money on top of that so that leads to the whole notion or that mindset of people where well we need to feed ourselves we need to look after our family we need a future so that's why we don't want a girl because it's going to cause death so the culture has kind of forced them i know we love to blame people they are wrong for you know, thinking down on a woman and thinking I don't want a girl. But the culture has forced that upon a lot of people. And so we have to acknowledge where this where this preaching or where this information or this mindset is stemming from. Oh, this, going back to the weddings, 
it's all about my wedding has to be the most royal wedding. It has to be the biggest wedding. I can't have a simple wedding. I know it's become this thing. If you don't do it, then oh, it's lo your family is looked down upon. No, you have to you have to be that person that steps up, recognizes the difficulties, and then recognizes the the pressure stands up against that pressure and then says you know what we're going to do a simple wedding we're going to focus on the actual meaning of the anandkaraj which is the lama we're actually actually going to focus on the actual relationship between the husband and the wife rather than uh just focusing on impressing people that's become such a such a normalized thing and then along with this there's toxic masculinity and i know this might seem rude to say but there is this notion within the culture that a man has to be a certain way and in order to defend himself he puts down other women and he gets angry he puts down his mom puts down his sisters puts down his wife where he has to have the upper hand and the girl always has to listen this huge toxic masculinity is causing a big problem and that's why you know a lot of the sisters they are they are stepping up and speaking against this but this is happening in a lot of households we're toxic in the sense where and not only in the masculinity but age plays a difference as well age if someone is elder it doesn't matter if someone is like a year smaller than them or somebody is 10 years smaller than them they'll they'll do this uh, pressure upon them, which we call a robacharna. In not robacharna, in a, such a negative way that you have to listen to me no matter what, even if they're right or wrong. Gursikhi is completely different than this. Gursikhi is saying that Guru Har Rai Sahib Sache Pacha, they matha take to their five year old son Guru Har Krishna Sahib Ji. Sikhi is that Tru and Prahlad, they are the greatest saints that the world listened to. Baba Buddha Ji was very young when Guru Nanak Dev Ji recognized them. That's what Sikhi is. The Shorte Sahib Jade are referred as great inspirations. They're the, the four sons of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Sache Pacha. They are seen as our elder brothers that we look, all look up to as the, as the entire Khalsa Pant. And whereas like somebody's you're younger than you, you short and you get down. You know, there's this whole pressure and this, this uh, um, bullying almost that comes out of it so along with bullying within schools and within uh, you know areas in Punjab bullying is, is such a norm um, and then obviously the children at home they might get yelled at from their parents at, at school they get yelled at they're not finding their place which leads to a lot of repression they're trying to find escape from all this world and then you go into drugs and all of these things are becoming normalized because drinking alcohol uh, you know this whole gangster like uh, gunda sort of um, culture is being promoted through all these songs it's everywhere and then, along with uh, the objecting fine woman uh, dowry, uh, big royal weddings and stuff like that, we put these expectations in these weddings. Whereas, for example, a a a girl might get married, and when she gets married, there's this expectation she has that my in-laws have to give me fifty suits. Or they have to give me a hundred suits, or they have to give me jewelry. There's this expectation that the masiya have that if I go to the wedding, I I deserve this and this. But and here's the thing: if they don't receive that, or if any little suit doesn't have the right type of color, oh my God! The amount of nindya, the amount of slander, the amount of gossip, the amount of the amount of anger that's going to be <laughs> coming out of that. Families are not going to talk to each other, and for the rest of that girl's life she's going to remember that that my masi my in-law my you know sister-in-law she never gave me a suit so because of this families are being destroyed families are becoming this all because of this little expectation that's been formalized uh, put into the culture here's the difference sikhi is all about pana pana is saying tera kiya meetha lage you receive something we're so happy that we received this with your blessings. We're grateful for every breath that we have. The how the roof over our head. We're blessed. We're grateful for it. 
we go out to those people that are unfortunate, don't have it, and we give more to them. But the problem is when you're you're so so accustomed to living a hi-fi life that you can never look you already look down upon people that are poor because they're not worth it and you're a jat and you're high class apparently and because of this now you have expectations and when your expectations are not met you're angry you fight these expectations are absolutely horrible like i remember this one conversation i even had you know with with my relatives uh, you know i went to india and uh, you know beautiful respect that you know my relatives gave me um and uh, I, i was surprised that you know all the relatives gave me and it turned out that i was the brother-in-law of the family so when i would go and apparently you're supposed to give a lot of respect to the jivai and i was the jivai apparently and i was like cool they're giving me the respect and they're like come walk to the front i was like it's not needed like don't worry about it i'll go at the back i like it's your family wedding and you guys deal with it who am i to say anything and after that I had a conversation they said no no that's expected they have to do that i was saying no they don't have to do that they said no they have to if not you're supposed to get angry at them i was like what in the world it's expected for me to get angry and maybe this is just one small example that's not applicable to everyone in sikhi or gur sikhi or any other place i would say if you receive something that's great if you don't that's normal right look you are given 50 dollars that's a gift that's beautiful you accept it you say thank you wow thank you and in punjabi culture a beautiful thing is that you don't accept it you say no 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 keep it that's a beautiful thing but here's the opposite of that they pretend ki nahi 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 tu si rakho nahi 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 i don't want it but internally they're expecting why did she only give me 50 dollars i expected 500 that expectation is ruining and you say if she if she gave me 500 dollars then it's normal if she didn't give me anything oh my god the amount of hatred the amount of all of these things so what i'm trying to say is acknowledge these things look how negative and toxic the entire community has come i was at a point in my kind of upbringing this is before i got married before you know kind of even going back and forth and traveling to india being more exposed to these cultures I absolutely despised the the Punjabi relative theories that my parents might have. They were like, "Nay, nay, ah, masing ay don da ta, ta ay don da cha che, da don de de." Also, I was like, "Look, I don't get it. I respect everybody. I love everybody. If somebody comes to me, I'm going to give them respect." But this whole land there like giving and receiving and then the fights that break out of, why do you do it in the first place? So, that's why sometimes you just have to stop step back. appreciate what you have focus on your life focus on your sikhi then the gossip oh my god it's so common to have nindya chugli you go to maybe even the gurdwara you go to punjabi public events do you go uh, on 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 instagrams or any of this the conversations uh you pick you listen to auntie and talking on the phone it's always about comparison what's your son doing my son's doing this well her son did this you're talking like her son's mother's daughters fathers something something like so far away it doesn't affect you you're wasting your time on it all you care is, is about what's happening in somebody else's house guru sahib is saying ke par kar jo handa don't look at somebody else's house don't look at whatever is happening in somebody's house focus on within your own house within your own family your society and what's in your own mind and your own heart that's because the rest of this ma ti pan your brother sisters chachi uh for for the mummy relatives brother sisters even your own ma- mother and father they're not going to go with you in the end gurbani vich ek farman aunda na ho tera pungda na tu meri mai which means that on my path towards akalpur towards righteousness towards dharm meri ma ne vi naal nahi jana so the bhagat is saying to the mother that on this path na ho tera pungda if you go against me on this path i love you mother there's great respect but can keep this in mind in reality other than these bodies you're not my mother i'm not your son that's something that's very difficult to understand when all you're doing is associating with your caste and all you're doing is associating with your with your body sareer to upar utho rise above your body so along with all of these things um 
there is one other aspect I want to highlight before going on to the Sikhi aspect is because of this oppression that's put the pressure put on girls after they're married this whole toxic masculinity and this whole thing it causes the 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 wife or the mother that's giving birth to have pressure from the in-laws that she's supposed to give birth to a son if she gives birth to a daughter what's not science it's not random chance not guru sahib's will those things aren't looked at looked at it's all the girl's fault now apparently and now she's wrong she has the fault within her and now she uh, the mother mother-in-law might say that to the to her son that you know your wife is the one that has the fault in it because who knows what she's thinking and there's also this sense of control the mother-in-law the father-in-law the elder brother or whoever it is wants to control and like almost restrict everybody else's life inside of that household like if it's not my way the highway but in punjabi family there's no highway right so that's why sometimes it destroys families brothers are killing each other making sure the other one goes homeless after the father passes away over what land over money you value money and what people think of you way too much sachi galya sikhi de vich guru sahib sachi paacha says do not care of what somebody thinks of you praise or slander it does not matter sara kuch piche chhad do all there's so many other negative things i can go on and on again we can break them down in maybe different videos well, what i'm trying to say is look at what you've turned punjabi culture into the beautiful the land of five rivers the beautiful loving family culture it, it was amazing people are striving people are working Pe- there there's a sense of of community there's no like separation but now there's this race towards m- modern countries taking the influence from it of modernization and development but you're leaving all the positive qualities of punjab you're letting go of that keeping all growing all the negativities and adopting the negative ones from the other countries which just makes you a whole negative culture maybe that might have been <laughs> said too harsh but what i'm trying to say is understand this look at what sikhi culture is it's the exact opposite of this sikhi devach your your behavior your discipline who you are what you speak all of this makes a difference what you eat how you talk how you dress behavior is big what you speak mitha bolna mit bolda ji mit bolda you never speak harsh kona bolna jana hai puran bhagwan that person has the qualities of parmatma speak sweetly mitha bolna nimrata is the foundation of sikhi and now the culture is promoting ego and it's promoting something else whereas sikhi is saying nain saib you want to become completely humble you want to submit yourself completely be so humble that whenever whoever you talk to they're filled with compassion they're filled with that love that whatever you speak you speak truth and now punjab you ask anyone oh everyone's oh the culture is is messed up there's so much fraud there's so much corruption it's all about corruption 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 that's all everyone talks about the mp's are all corrupt the government's corrupt the people are corrupt my whatever dukan wala is corrupt the the grocery shopper he's corrupt right the the taxi driver is corrupt everyone's corrupt apparently no pyare look the, the we've created that system if you start instilling these positive things what you do will influence your society become positive that's what gursikhi is it doesn't matter if the entire world goes against you punjabi is ke lok ki kehnge what will people think sikhi is saying i don't care what people think i don't care people what people say about me i'm standing up for what's true even if i have to lay down my life for it even if i have to protect somebody else's life somebody's oppressing uh, somebody that's from outside of state somebody is saying that you know this person is low caste no 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 i'll defend with my life to defend that person's right that's what sikhi is sikhi is discipline of your mind and your thoughts it's a culture of warrior yogis or punjabi culture you don't think of warrior yogis you don't think of a soldier right you don't think of a saint now for modern day punjabi i'm not saying the past maybe in the past it was great and i'm sure there's so many like i said it before i'm not slandering i'm not putting it down there's so many positive qualities qualities even today but what i want to say is look at 
the the beauties and the differences between modern day Punjab Punjabi culture and how it can learn and how it should you know drive all of these beautiful qualities from Sikhi discipline of your mind controlling your anger controlling your desires detaching from the world all of these things you don't care about the opinions of the world sir dije kaan na ki jaye you give your head once to the guru you never look back you want to stand out you want to tie a dhamalla you want to wear a bana you know what you're representing you represent your beliefs through your dress through how you act and how you inter- interact with your uh, with the society and the people around you the respect that you give towards elders or stads even children all of these things and the discipline and the determination to succeed in your goal to succeed himmat determination courage to actually go and become that puran form of paramatma living in this world and losing your ego this himmat to wake up in the morning and read gurbani whereas punjabi called it lazy this and that. i even asked one of my my friends when i went to when i went to amritsar he's like what do people do that was he's like oh well me and my friends we just go to work for 2 hours and then we just sit here and play cards we're just we're free all day and sikhi is saying don't leave your mind free because when your mind is is left unattended undisciplined is going to work is going to move towards vikar is going to move towards vices now everyone's free everyone's slandering comparing i don't know what, what's going on you want to make a difference whereas punjabi culture might be saying that just accumulate for yourself and your family vaddi kothi vadda kar this and that and that's everywhere in the world it's in america as well but sikhi is instilling this thing you want to make a difference in the world duniya nu badal ke rakh dena sachi sachi passe wa nu tor dena you're going to make the world move towards a righteous place you're going to make the world a better place you want to give more to the world you want to become humble and compassionate so go dusre nu jyada dena aap kat rakhna giving more to the world and less for yourself and another thing is sadgi humility simplicity <laughs> now instead of making myself the blingiest that i can the shiniest the most rich with the greatest luxury watches the the best type of shoes and so nobody can say oh ode kol purana phone hai that person has a old phone oh my god like you know that whole thing a good six says yes i have the older phone yes i my clothes are ripped what about it you are great and I, you might have it i don't but there's one thing that i have i have god's name resonating resonating inside of my heart why guru's name parmatma's name inside is inside of my heart pero that's very important tai satche pacha kende baaj guru dubba sansar this entire world without guru sahib is going to completely fall and drown guru sahib satche pacha says baba hor khana khushi khwar jit khadda tan peediya man ve chale vikar you want to discipline yourself on how you eat and whereas punjabis it's like well that he they didn't even feed us pakode they didn't even feed of feed us mithai what type of wedding reception was that they only had you know 15 types of pakode why didn't they have 30 types of pakode you know that that's kind of the culture that's instilled inside of it. it's like more and increase increase and if they don't do it look down upon so what i'm trying to say is gursikhi is saying be so humble eat healthy promote these positive things i know so many punjabis are doing it in punjab and beautiful uh things that they they are doing and that's why you know props to you you know encourage you to do more and help change that environment that negative toxic environment sikhi is based on shastar shastar tari sikhi what is sikhi culture it is barcha jang jakara koda that's a culture it's not bullet motorcycle maybe it might be you know it's not about because with that whole thing it's like bullet be as loud as you can play songs i'm not i'm just general as i'm not saying for everybody i'm not saying the motorcycles wrong but there's a, a certain culture that's associated with it whereas sikhi culture is based around horses about simplicity being carefree being rebellious against oppression not caring about what media or government say it's about expressing that beautiful light from inside of you gatka instead of getting drunk and dancing all night and this it's about doing kirtan all night 
It's about playing tabla. It's about uh, making sure you're always ready. Your tiyar bratar, you have your karpana, you have your swords, you're there to protect all of Punjab, all of India, the entire world. That's the mission of the Khalsa. The Khalsa is food and freedom for everybody. So that's why weapons, shastar, karpan, panjikakar, you know, jang, jakare, these things are being forgotten. Implement these things. It's a culture in itself. How you eat, how you speak, how you talk, how you dress, uh, what type of friends you have. And truly, the history itself that gives you this, this ras, this power inside of you that make takes your mind to a place beyond time. Your thinking, your world view will be much higher. Sikhi is saying, rise above this. Don't get indulged into it. Rise above it. Fall in love with it. Fall in love with your Guru. The Guru-Sikh relationship is absolutely important. So, Tankarke Pyaryo, Guru Sikhi Vich, there are these beautiful qualities that we want to implement. We don't want to be Nindya, doing Nindya, uh, being autistic. We want to be inclusive of everybody. Be simple, be humble, learn about Gurbani, read Gurbani. Let's let go of these negative things that we've adopted, the beautiful things that are there. Let's take those on. And somebody might think that Punjabi and Sikhi are the same. Absolutely not, especially these qualities. Sikhi is based on virtues. There, It begins from giving your head, taking Amrit, the beautiful nectar inside of you, the qualities that are instilled through Guru Sahib's teachings. These Gursikhs become not just angels, they become the form of God. That's what Gursikhi is. Har har jandu ek hai, bebe bichar ka chana hai. Now, every region has beautiful qualities, but sometimes there's toxic, it, it, sometimes it becomes very toxic. There's toxic traditions in Canada, in America, in England. We need to let go of those as well. Sikhi is the culture that we want to embrace no matter where we are in the world. So, Pyaryo, please don't take anything I said to be targeting anybody. If I've said anything wrong, please forgive me. My encouragement is to make a difference in our environments around us using the teachings of Guru Sahib and instilling them inside of us so those rays of love and compassion and positive qualities can resonate and affect all the lives around us so that they can become better people when that control of yourself influences your society or your surrounding then you can make all you know your goal of making Punjab a better place India a better place the world a better place these goals can be achieved so inia bintiyan parwan karneya ji fateh parwan karneya ji wahiguru ji ka khalsa wahiguru ji ki fateh